Seriously? Hey, hey guys, and welcome to another update video with myself, Six Plus Stevo. So yes, um, I just wanted to make a little video of an update about what's going on with the channel and what I've been up to and everything and plans for the future and fill you guys in really. Um, a lot of you may have realized um, over recent months, the output of the channel has been a little bit less than what it's been previously in its peak. Um, to the point where a month or so ago, I sort of took a couple of weeks out. Um, usually I'm getting out on average, um, at least one video a week. Um, I, 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 during the peak of the channel, I was, you know, during October last year, I was doing a, a video a day almost for the entire month. And that schedule nearly killed me. Uh, but it was fun. It was good to do. Um, but generally speaking, I try to do sort of two videos a week. Uh, sometimes it would be three, occasionally more. Um, but at the bare minimum, one like one video a week. Um, uh, like I say, lately, that output has diminished um, greatly. Uh, I still, for the most part, I'm sort of getting out, sort of trying to at least one video a week. Or... Um, yeah, as, as best I can. Um, and like I said, a, a month or so ago, I sort of had a, a couple of weeks where I didn't release, or it might have even been up to three weeks, where I didn't release a video at all. And um, there was there's a few reasons for that. Um, the main reason, well, one reason being just life, just being busy. I have a full-time job um, and a family with, uh, I've got several kids, and uh, yeah, life's uh, tough going. There's loads of other commitments and social commitments and work commitments and family commitments and financial commitments and everything else. And I, I don't need to tell you guys because you're all living your own lives and you'll have your own things going on. So and you know how it can be sometimes. And so, yeah, that's kind of um, one of the main reasons why it's been difficult to get out as much content as I'd like. Um, the other reason being that um, I haven't been in great health lately. Um, I won't go into it in too much detail, but yeah, I've, I've not been well for most of the year, really. Um, it's been something that's ongoing for quite a while. And uh, after sort of several trips to the doctors and sort of, you know, essentially being fobbed off, um, and not getting a proper diagnosis. Um, I've eventually had a hospital appointment and received a proper diagnosis, but I haven't yet started treatment. Um, but yeah, let's just say that I, I'm not, I haven't been feeling too well, guys. Um, I, and I, I, it hasn't affected my sort of life outside of uh, this channel to a great deal in what well, it has. But in terms of um, going to work and everything, I've still essentially, for the most part, I've had a few days here and there where I've just had to call in because I'm just not feeling well enough to go into work. But essentially, I've still been working, still been doing all my other commitments and stuff. But the one thing that sort of has to give to a degree, um, much to my disappointment, um, as I'm sure some of yours, is, is the channel. Um, I just, I haven't been able to do as much on the channel as I had planned to do or have wanted to. And that's, that's got me down, um, quite a bit, actually. Um, it, it's, it, it disappoints me. Um, and I feel like I let you guys down sometimes, um, you know, because I, I want to be making these videos. Believe me, I want to be making these videos. Um, and not just the output that I've been doing. I want to do so much more. And I know that I'm capable of doing so much more. Um, if only I had more time. And if only I just felt a little bit healthier and a little bit more up to it. Um, because I cannot stress enough to you guys how much enjoyment I get out of this. This is truly is my passion. Um, I love this hobby. I, I absolutely love it. And uh, it's the, it, you can, I, can't, I can't put into words to you guys how much of a stress relief this hobby is for me. Um, life can be full of a lot of stresses and a lot of troubles and just a lot, a lot, a lot the daily grind. It can, it can be hard going. And to, to come back and sit and paint and just switch your mind off from all that crap for a few hours and go into your imagination and create something and make something that you can feel proud of. Um, and then to to communicate that through other people, you know, whether it be friends in the hobby or 
you guys on YouTube or within our Facebook group. Um, it, it's immensely satisfying. <clears throat> it really is. It's so satisfying. Um, and it's just so much fun. And I just get so much out of it. I really, really do. And making the videos and doing the channel has been a huge part of that. And, um, you know, I'm still going to carry on the channel and, you know, hopefully, um, you know, once I start treatment and stuff, I, I should be feeling a lot better, hopefully, fingers crossed, and feeling a bit back to my normal self and have a little bit more energy and not feel so lethargic and tired all the time. Because a lot of the time I could be making videos, um, but once you finish work for the day, everything's done. And sometimes, honestly, guys, I'm just too tired to do it and I just don't feel up to it. I don't feel mentally capable to do it or just physically capable to do it i could force some videos out and i have done that in the past um i've definitely done that in the past and i've generally for the most part felt unhappy <clears throat> i felt unhappy with those videos when i've sort of watched them back in editing it's been very close i'm thinking well i'm not going to upload this because you can kind of see it on my face i look tired i i don't have the same enthusiasm that i usually do um because i'm just feeling generally a bit shit and uh, so I don't want to do videos like that. So I'd rather do them when I'm feeling up to it. And I feel that I can make a good video that's going to be entertaining or informative. And just, you know, that my passion will come through the camera and my, you know, enthusiasm and excitement will come through the camera. Because the, the kind of videos I like to do, um, I like to sort of, you know, share the news of upcoming exciting orc releases with you guys and talk about the, the the game and the tactics and the conversions and share all that stuff with you and when i do that i don't want to be looking all sort of uh, you know just like my heart's not really in it because i don't think that makes for a good video um you know i want to share with you guys my joy at this hobby um and so yeah it's basically guys like i say it's an update but i just wanted to just fill you guys in because i know that some of you out there may be wondering like his content's dropped a little bit is he you know is he still doing this and what's going on um because like i say uh, i was making a lot more videos at one point and hopefully that will happen again and i will still be making videos this, this is not me telling you guys that i you know i'm kind of done with this now definitely not definitely not i'm in this for the long haul um and the channel's still growing really nicely i'm still gaining subscribers every day um which is great like in the the that period where i took a bit of a break from the channel the channel was still growing in numbers um because it's great that people are still coming in and, I, and I, I still get great enjoyment for that every time i see a notification i've got a new subscriber it feels as good as that first subscriber i got you know it's a great feeling and the channel is growing the facebook community group is growing and uh yeah and along with that i've had lots of um exciting opportunities open up to me and messages open up to me from various companies and various individuals who are keen for me to review products on the channel um, and promote things or do giveaways of which there will be one coming up on the channel soon um, I won't say when because I don't know when I'll be able to do it, but that I do have a giveaway, um, which uh, a cool company has provided me with a giveaway to give away to one of you lucky guys in the competition. So that'll be cool. But um, yeah, I've got I've got <laughs> around my room here and downstairs, I've got a, cup, a few products that I am I've had for a little while now that I um, was intending to review, and I still will review the, these products. Um, but like I say, they've all kind of um, been pushed to one side, um, disappointingly, um, for the time being, until I can get round to reviewing those products and making a good review video of these products to sh share these things with you guys. Um, and I've just had some exciting things sent to me from some subscribers and uh, some cool, really cool things that I cannot wait to share with you guys and show off on the channel and i think you'll find very interesting um i've just you know the, the the generosity of various companies and various individuals that have sent me some stuff to feature on the channel is is fantastic and amazing and i love it and it's kind of um it was one of the driving forces um from a selfish perspective for me starting the channel i've never sort of it is a dream of mine that this one channel one day could become my full-time job um but 
realistically speaking, I, I don't ever see that happening. But that's okay with me. That's okay with me. If it remains a, a hobby of mine that can provide a little bit of income um, and basically get me some uh, free stuff, then that's cool. And if that's the case, then, you know, I've succeeded. And uh, yeah, I've, I've had some amazing sort of gifts and products sent to me um, since I've been doing the channel. And that's that's great. Um, and if that's as high as I ever get with the channel, then I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And it's almost to the case where it becomes like a, almost a self-funding hobby. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, like, so on the channel soon, um, there will be um, reviews coming up of various products that are all <laughs> lining up desperate to be reviewed and shown off on the channel. Um, but I don't want a, the, the channel just to become a review channel. Um, I've all, it's almost become a little bit overwhelming at the moment with the amount of products and things I've got, which isn't a huge amount by other channel standards. But for me, it's quite a few things um, at once that I'm like, oh, geez, I've got to review that. And I've got to review that. And, I've got, and I don't just want to do review channels because they're, they're probably not my favorite type of videos to make. I like to have the variety. I like to do tactics videos. I like to do conversion videos. Um, recently showing off some of my painting, um, which I'm still doing. Uh, there's one there that my Big Mech, which I, some of you may have seen on the Facebook group. He's coming along nicely. I've almost finished getting all the base colors on him. But so, yeah, I've been doing a bit of painting lately. Um, yeah, I know. Believe it or not, um, I'm sure a lot of you would have seen them, my most recent video showing off my Met Guns and Killer Cans. So, yes, I have finally painting something. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I've got review things coming up. I've got a giveaway coming up. Um, and I've got some other ideas for videos, uh, future collaborations. I've been in talks with um, another channel who I'm a big, big fan of. Um, and we spoke um, recently about a very exciting collaboration project, which um, has got no further than just a sort of a, a chat via messenger about it. But I'm very, very excited about that one because that could be something very special, particularly to me. So um, I won't give away too much on that at the moment because, like I say, it's just in the talking stages. Um, but, yeah, lo loads of exciting things. And it's been tough for me because... Um, like where, like I say, where I've not been that healthy lately and sort of tired and um, various things have been busy, um, I haven't had the time to be able to do it. And it, it's kind of a tease because this is my dream. This is my passion and I'm doing it. But I'm also at the same stage not getting the time that's required to do it. And I know, I know that if I had this, if, if this was a full time job, if I didn't have full time work and other commitment stuff, Believe me, guys, I know this channel would be so much better. I would have so much more time for research, so much more time to sort of set things up better and get things working better, like lighting and sound and everything, and just and have a, things a little bit more scripted and just sort of have a schedule planned out and be able to have um, uh, weekly releases on the channel at set times and set days um, to work better with the YouTube algorithm. And so it, it's... It's I'm I'm doing it and the channel's going well, but at the same time I face those frustrations that I could be doing so much better and so much more. But I have to keep telling myself that look, this is a hobby. This isn't your job. Um, as much as you'd like it to be your job, it's it's not your main job. It's 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 a hobby. It's a sideline project from real life, um, and that 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 can be tough at times. But I've just got to sort of to a certain extent take the pressure off myself. Um, and just release videos and make videos as and when the time is good for me to do that and get them out to you guys. Um, and so, and, and make videos that I enjoy making um, as well and try to avoid getting myself down the sort of rabbit hole of constantly just reviewing things and doing things for other companies. And that doesn't sound right, but I think you know what I mean by saying that. Like, I, I don't want to get away from what initially got me into doing this i want to still make discussion videos and chatting about various topics and things to do with the hobby um they're the sort of videos that really get me going and showing off conversions and things and talking about the hobby in various ways <clears throat> and that's what i want to carry on doing um on the plus side like i said um the the the, the lack of time that i've been 
the, the time I've saved in not making videos, I've actually been painting stuff. Because like I say, I find it a great stress reliever. Um, and I've notoriously been bad at painting since I've got back into the hobby. I've got a, a huge orc army now, not as big as some out there, but a pretty sizable force. Um, we're, we're sort of well into the sort of 6,000 point realm now of orc army that I've got. Um, but the, the, and 98% and of it is unpainted, um, which has been a source of um, shame for me to a degree um especially when i'm now it's certainly not something i would have felt shame for before um in being in the hobby um but when you're in the hobby and you're making a channel and let's not sort of mince words here i'm trying to be the biggest orc channel on youtube that's kind of the, what target i set myself when i started this i want to be the um the the biggest um and best orc channel on youtube um i don't want to sort of do it half fast. I want this to be a really good channel um, with everything. I want to do things like battle reports. I want to show off painting and things. I want to show off the army in its entirety um, and go, you know, feature on other channels in battle reports and everything. I want to be able to do that. Um, but I've felt sort of a, a little bit of shame actually in the fact that, oh, sort of a, who am I kidding? I'm doing this channel and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm claiming to be like, you know, sort of, claiming to be anything but i'm i'm a fan just like anyone else out there but i'm trying to make a channel all about orcs and everything and i don't even have an a painted orc army it's not really good enough is it and so i've given myself a hard time over that and i've had some various comments and stuff and most of them um just banter filled a bit of you know uh jockeying and stuff you know a bit, a bit, a bit of joshing and you know joking about just a, a little teases and stuff about the fact that my army's grey and i need to crack on and get it painted and i know it's a thing that a lot of you out there struggle with as well <clears throat> to get your stuff done um but when you make a channel um the pressures can can mount up quite a bit actually and it's so uh, yeah it's been a little bit of a sore a sore point for me let's say um but it feels great now that because I've not been making videos and I've wanted to sort of chill out in the evenings and stuff, um, rather than making a video, I've just sat down with some paints and started painting stuff. And I'm really happy with the results. Um, I'm, 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 I'm pleased with them. I consider myself a moderately good painter when I sit down and set my mind to it and keep myself motivated. Um, and so, yeah, it's been nice to see progress being made. And I think actually it's kind of convinced me that actually making a few less videos isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because if it means that I can get some stuff painted in the long term, that's going to be better for the channel. Because I'm not going to be ashamed to go on other channels such as uh, Idic Beer and feature in a battle report. Because I'm going to be able to go there and take a... No, a nicely painted army to go up against his nicely painted force and it will make for a visual thing and then start i can start doing battle reports on my channel and who knows perhaps there's guests from other channels that would like to come around here and play me and feature on my channel in battle reports and it's uh that's quite exciting for the future and uh just for the joy of it because it's, it's it's a great feeling when you've got something painted and you can feel proud of it and uh show it off and uh you know, you, when you, it's just they're just pleasing to look at and uh, you know and do, and it's uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment from the paint at the moment, and it's helping me de-stress from the current stresses and things that I've got going on. So yeah, um, and that's yeah, that's kind of where I am at the moment with things. Um, so yeah, there there's still going to be videos coming, guys, um, and I'm still going to be cracking on with this painting and getting this stuff out. I haven't forgotten. <coughs> Um, the target I set myself, if some of you remember, myself and Skana on Two Bald Knobs in the New Year special, um, set ourselves a, we gave ourselves a New Year's resolution and a target to go for. Um, Skana um, pledged that he would, through, by the end of this year, have a 2,000 point Orc army painted up. Uh, we set himself a big task there. Um, I don't think he's anywhere near that task that sort of goal at the moment i made it a little bit more believable for myself and a little bit more reachable um and made it quite easy on myself and i said a 500 point army um to which what i've painted currently um actually equates to more than 500 points so i've kind of achieved that 
Um, but what I want at the very least is a 500 point legal army. I don't have that yet. So hence why I'm painting Mr. Big Mech here. Um, so I'm getting an HQ up and I've got a unit of grots here looking at me that are all undercoated. Um, so I'm trying to get some troop units painted up. So I've still got a fair bit to do before the new year. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but if I keep that target in mind and that deadline, um, I'm hoping that can drive me and push me and motivate me to get this stuff done. Because it would be great to have, um, you know, a, a fully painted army, um, at least a starting point of an army for me to be able to feature in battle reports. And and once I've got that basis, then it's it's going to take the pressure off a bit where I can just add a unit at a time and a character at a time a little bit and just slowly build it up. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Do excuse the coughing, guys. Um, but yes, yeah, so the painting side of things is being really good. Um, also, another thing I want to mention in this video, you'd have noticed by the thumbnail um, and the uh, title, is I want to say a big thank you um, to all of you, um, subscribers and viewers, um, for one. But in particular, I want to say a big thank you to my patrons. Um, for those of you that know, I do have a Patreon page um, in which I'll, there's always a link at the end of the videos um, and there's always a link in the description. If you want to become a patron of the channel, you can go on there and it's, you know, that I don't have any um, content held back from the channel. That's like, you don't really get anything extra. It's just out of the kindness of your heart. If you want to donate to the channel, then by all means. And if you don't, that's fine because just viewing, liking, subscribing is is more than enough support. Um, but these patrons really do make a difference to this channel. Um, the fact that I'm talking to you now over a webcam on my computer um, is in massive part thanks to my patron subscribers. Um, because the money that those guys have kindly donated to the channel has helped fund this. Um, and it's not a fancy computer. It's, 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 a, it's a moderately good computer, but it's a reconditioned um, job. Um, it's just a starting point for me. Um, but the Patreons themselves, all the money from Patreon, the, the webcam that I'm talking to on now, that was funded completely from Patreon. And uh, I think has just in, that's in itself has improved the quality of the channel no end because these type of videos before where I was just filming them on the phone, um, they they weren't great quality or sound and things. And uh, I, I know a lot of you would have known that in them older videos, I had a trouble with autofocus and things like that it became very distracting when the camera's got to zoom in and out constantly and you're trying to focus on what I'm saying. It's very distracting. So it's nice to be finally rid of that. Um, but yeah, the, um, the money from YouTube advertising and Patreon, um, is, is helping me make this channel better. The next things I plan to do, um, with the money is get, um, a microphone, a headset microphone, probably. I, I really want to improve the sound because at the moment I'm just using the standard sort of, uh, microphone things and the webcam. So the sound quality is not as good as it could be. Um, and I know some of you audio files out there are really obsessed with it being crisp and absolutely perfect. Um, but it's all, uh, you know, I'm building up to this stuff slowly, bit by bit. You know, since I started, I started with just a phone um, and doing things very basic and learning as I went. And I, that's still very much the case. You know, I'm, and uh, I've been building the channel slowly and uh, using whatever money I make from the channel to plow back into it to either get things for review and stuff in terms to help to hobby or to improve the actual quality of the uh, channel itself, be it that picture or sound or lighting or whatever. Um, so I, I do have further plans in the future to just make things better and better and better and just carry on improving the quality of it and the content. And uh, But yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to my Patreons. Um, there are seven of you and you guys are awesome. We have... In no particular order, Brenton Dortmans, Casey Madden, Christopher Fenton, Justin Hayward, Matty Cools, Peter Cook, and Rick Lewis. Um, you guys, I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but thank you. 
thank you so much. It means so much to me. And I think it speaks a lot about you guys, that your generosity um, in that you, um, I don't know, that, that, you, that you are willing to part with however small amount of money every month to put towards this channel and help me make the channel grow and improve the quality of it. Um, you, you've had a direct impact on the quality of this channel because without that money from you guys, I wouldn't be talking to you now on this. I'd be doing a video like this from my phone, um, which would be in poor quality and it, it just wouldn't be as good. And so I've got you guys to thank for that. Thank you so much. Um, I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart, guys. It means so, so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. You are all awesome. Um, and to the rest of you guys, who subs any, anyone out there watching this who is a subscriber, anyone out there who ever hit that thumbs up button or comments on the videos, um, and anyone who's a member of the uh, Orc Facebook community group, um, you guys just, uh, this is why I do it. If, if I didn't get the views, and I didn't get the comments, I simply wouldn't continue. Um, I know there's people that are making YouTube and say, well, I don't do it for the views and the subs and stuff. They don't mean anything. But of course they do. They, they do. We, I wouldn't sit here talking to a camera um, to get no views because what would be the point? Um, so the fact that, you know, you guys interact with me and everything, it is great. And I love it. I love it. I get so much out from it. It's one of the most positive, exciting things I do in my life. Um, and it's something that I feel really proud of doing. Actually, I'm properly proud of what I do with this channel. And, um, I've met some great people through doing it and, uh, long may it continue. I plan to keep doing this channel for a long, long time. And uh, it's a shame. It's just, I have to say, it's a shame that I couldn't, I, I, I'm not able um, to to sort of put more time into it. Um, because trust me, guys, it would be so much better. It really would. And I would love to this to be like my full time job um, because I, I I have a a, a good job. Um, you know, I, I don't dislike my job, but I'm. Uh, it's not where my passion lies. My passion lies in this. And if you can turn a hobby or a passion or an interest into a career then you're a very lucky person you're a very fortunate person because um, many of us end up in dead-end jobs or doing something that we're just doing for the money um, and to be able to do something where it's directly your passion and interest then that that's that's a dream that I don't think many people get to achieve and uh, I don't think I'm going to get to achieve it but it's a fun hobby and it's a nice escape from that real life stuff. And uh, I get a lot out of it and I'm going to carry on doing it. And uh, yeah, anyway, like all my videos, I am waffling on. Um, so I'll probably bring this to a close. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for all the support. Thank you to the Patreons. Thank you to the viewers, the subscribers, the members of the Facebook community group. Um, thank you to all of you. You're all awesome. And uh I look forward to seeing you on the next video. But for now, guys, for this update, this is Six Bus Stevo signing out.